Hi there, welcome to the Babby Young channel. I'm going to make a shirt and this time it's going to be the New Look 6941 shirt. I do have another pattern of a shirt that I like to make but I thought I'd give this one a go. When I saw it I thought that looks brilliant, I'm going to give that a try. A um, bit different in its styling. It is basically, it's got four styles on there but the differences are basically um, different colour different sleeve length and whether or not you put pockets on them. Um, so really the basic uh, sort of overall design stays the same for all of them. You're just changing the sleeve which is the main change for all of them uh, and then, then just the addition of things like pockets or little cuffs and things. So uh, yeah that looks quite nice. I'm going to have a go at um, view D which is probably the simplest of them. It's got what looks to be a bit like um, this one here, collar stand type collar on there, short sleeve, no pockets. Um, so I'm going to give that a go. Now on here it does say that the suggested fabrics for this is cotton and cotton blends, chambray, lightweight denim, PK, poplin, twill, sateen, eyelet, satin, linen and linen blends. So um, sort of a medium weight material really, generally it seems to be, maybe slightly heavier on some of them but as a general rule a medium weight material. So what have I got to make this uh, top out of? Now not too long ago I made a wrap dress, it was the Simplicity 9224 and I made it out of a blue chambray and I've still got some of that left and hopefully I should have enough left to actually be able to make that particular um, shirt with the short sleeve so that's brilliant because it is a chambray as it says so that's what we're going to be making this, uh, this shirt with. So what I'm going to do is start off by having a look at the pattern and decide on um, how I'm going to make it and I'm going to do a mock-up because I have not made this before so I definitely want to do a mock-up so let's have a look at that. Now I'm going to start with a mock-up and as you can see I've already cheated and made it already. Um, I got the pattern out and uh, decided to have a look at it and started having a go before I was putting the, uh, uh, the video notes down and I just sort of went oh, let's just get on with it and see what it comes out like. Now in doing that it means I can get on a bit quicker with this video but I can also show you what I was considering and how this mock-up's actually coming out. First thing to consider was the size and I was looking at it thinking right okay it's um, size 14, 16 looking at my measurements. Now on the pattern pieces it does actually say that what it considers to be the bust or chest line um, has with the finished garment it comes to I think it was 104 centimetres, I don't remember what that is in inches but that is, is right for me, that fits perfectly. Um, now it says that that is with a 5 inch ease allowance within the garment so the finished garment will come to that. So if you're considering um, that chest or bust line then at least 104 centimetres and that's with the ease. So that is a good size which comes out as I said size 14 on the pattern pieces so that's what I've gone with. Cut them all out, quite simple, they're not particularly big pieces because you've got this panelled, you've got one panel and two panels to make the front and then on the back you've got one centre piece and then two side panels. And then the yokes, obviously two front yokes because you've got the opening and one back yoke it's not double layered like you would get with a shirt so you haven't got to do the burrito method or anything you've just got to tidy up the seams of which of course it doesn't tell you about finishing the seams while you're making this so it's a case of working out how I'd want to finish the seams which is um, what I've already done in my notes so I know how I want to finish them and what you end up with is a shirt like this with the short sleeve. Now once I'd made this particular part, the, uh, the mock-up 
um, do excuse this, it is a bit manky looking because it is an old sheet, um, one of my old sheets by the way, no one else's, so it's only my mankiness, so I'm happy to live with that. Um, now I've not put in any pockets on this, that was design choice, but one of the things I did find is that it was a bit baggy in the back and I wasn't happy with that. So what I've done is effectively where the seam line would be or or where you would normally have a piece that comes all the way around, I decided to put what would be darts in, but these darts sit in the seam line, so I've just tailored in a bit more of a tuck on where that seam line is, so it gives a little bit more fitting around, hopefully on the natural waist. Obviously, if that's something where you want to have more room, then <laughs> just leave it don't you I suppose um, but for me that's what I've decided on short sleeved um, so yeah it's coming out quite well now with this it says it buttons up all the way but I'm just going to put buttons up to this point where the um, the yoke meets so this part will just sort of sit open a little bit but anyway that's the mock-up and it seems to come out quite well this part because it's a two sections comes out really nice it sits really lovely and actually I suppose if I hold that a bit there, it's a little bit tight on that arm, but it's plenty enough room for just ordinary everyday movement. So I'm quite happy with the way it is. So yeah, this collar's a little bit tricky to put in. So again, collars, I'm never very good with collars, but there you go. So I suppose I better get on and actually start uh, cutting it out from the from the fabric as I've got this far ready, mock-up made, patterns are ready. Let's get making some of it. I've got everything cut out now, all my pieces are here, got a little bit of um, off cuts there and I've got my mock-up as a guide so I think everything's ready now, I uh, just need to get sewing. Now step one on the instructions is to put some stay stitching on the uh, on the yokes on the neckline pieces so first things first, stay stitching done, um, there we go on to step two. Step two is to put the front, front front piece with the side front. Pretty simple. A note though, before I actually get going on this. Now while reading the instructions and actually having a look at the pattern pieces, it tells me that I've got to do a little bit of interfacing. Namely this piece, and there is another piece that's shown that needs to be interfaced. This is the um, the collar piece. Um, it's cotton fold, so, and um, yeah, it will go around the neck. Brilliant, forming a little like like a collar stand, but that's the only bit of collar there is for this particular view style that I'm doing. There is, however, something else that states something about interfacing, and it doesn't quite seem to sit right. On this piece, which is the front piece, you've got two fold lines. Sure that'll show up on there. But on the pattern piece, and I've written it on here, the first one says, or well, the one furthest away, furthest from the edge, actually says, fold line for facing. So you're creating a facing piece. But then there's also a second line, which is nearer to the edge. So it's, you know, halfway. 
and the description there says fold line for interfacing but there's nothing on the instructions that tells me to cut out some interfacing to put onto this piece and actually the piece does actually carry on onto the yoke onto the front yoke which will be attached so what it's saying is that I should put an interfacing piece on the front that runs from the bottom all the way up to the top of the yoke but it doesn't describe that in the instructions at all so am I meant to put some interfacing in there or not well actually I am going to put some interfacing in there myself even though it doesn't seem to describe that because this is going to be where the buttons go it's going to create the button placket this piece and I'm thinking well it's going to be rather flimsy if it doesn't have a bit more structure to it now because on the image on the on the packet it describes it and shows it as having buttons coming up onto the yoke piece so both the Otis and got a front yoke but basically you've got four buttons um, a yoke you'd have four buttons at the bottom then you'd have the top yoke and then a couple more buttons but I'm not putting buttons at the top there I don't want them so I'm going to put buttons up to the yoke so I'm going to only put about four buttons in this front section which means that on this front piece here which is upside down on this front piece here I'm actually going to cut some interfacing but it's only going to come up to the top of this front piece that's where the interfacing is it won't come above into the yoke so that's how I'm going to do the interfacing on that front bit even though it doesn't describe that at all in the instructions so on with step two hmm well I've done the interfacing and I've put that onto the neck piece and that little bit on the front piece that it doesn't say about in the instructions so while I let that set I'm actually going to skip on a few steps now step three through to nine is pockets I'm not putting any pockets on mine so I can ignore all that completely but it's fairly simple the fairly basic pockets are they're effectively patch pockets that you put on a bit like you know this type of pocket so fairly simple but I won't go into any details there because I'm not doing them so the next step actually after that is to uh, put the yoke onto uh, the front section but as I've not done that yet um, or should I say I'm leaving that until later until the interfacing is settled I can actually jump over steps 10 11 12 and 13 and go straight on to step 14 which is the back piece so that is effectively um, step 14 and 15 I think is taking my back piece which is one piece and my back side pieces and putting these together and then putting um, the back yoke on so well, that's next and then I'll step backwards as it were to um, to the front piece back section completed I've got the yoke on the uh, back and side pieces now just for um, information I suppose just to let you know the way I've done it I have French seamed the back pieces and then the when I put the yoke on I've done a flat felled seam now, I've done it that way because I want these seams to sit nice and flat there's nothing worse than having a bulky seam sticking in you you're trying to get comfortable when they're in a garment in it so uh, that's the main choice for that the other thing as I'd already mentioned with the mock-up is that I'd made an amendment to this back seam effectively I put in what is equivalent to a dart but it's on the seam line so that's going to help give a bit of more shaping on that back piece so there we go one back done so now I can go back in time and do the front piece so that's the fronts completed um, left and right which has worked out quite nicely now with the seams what I've done is uh, never mind. <laughs> I've French seamed the um, up and down seam as I did with the back and then the yoke seam that's a flat felled seam and then you have this button placket piece which I've added the uh, um, 
interfacing in there and effectively what you've got to do is turn it under like that so this is the wrong side you turn it over under um, it says to tack it but I didn't I just um, pressed that one seam in and then you've got to turn it back on itself and then stitch along this edge here and then what you do is you turn it back through so you fold it all back get this crease so you're creating that nice uh, facing piece and button placket but with the top bit all closed up this part here is going to form the neck band the neck where the collar goes on so there you go um, quite simple really it wasn't too bad the instructions are fairly straightforward uh, so yeah came out nicely so now it says that I've got to actually put the front and back together at shoulder seams and the sides now I'm just going to do the shoulder seams for now um, I'll tell you why in a bit well you can see how far I've come along now it's uh, certainly coming together so I've done the shoulder seams when I've done the shoulder seams I meant to do the side seams at the same time but I decided not to do it that way I'll explain that in just a moment but let's have a quick look at this see how it is and get an idea that it's, it seems to be coming together all right I uh, hopefully the fit is uh, seems sound enough um, these button plackets seem to be working all right and the shaping seems to be quite nice on this it's um yeah I, I do like this say so once I get the side seams sorted um, we'll get an idea of how the back is as well but uh, yeah yeah coming along nicely I'll just put on the mock-up and I'll explain the sleeves so back with the mock-up just to explain about these sleeves what it tells you is to do the shoulder and do the side seam and then do that thing where you insert and stitch round and get your your um, sleeve put in but when I did it and I did this one that way on this side I found that I just couldn't get it you have to sort of gather it to some extent and it just doesn't to me I don't know if it will show but to me that just didn't sit all that well I wasn't overly happy with it so what I'm going to do is I'm going to revert back to my normal way of doing um, sleeves is I'm going to put the sleeve head in leave the side seam put the sleeve head in and get that finished off and done then I will stitch from the sleeve all the way down in one go I know there isn't much of a sleeve to sew on that point but it does seem to make a difference and to me it just sits much nicer now it may be that I'm just better at doing this way because I'm more used to doing it like, like this but I think that's come out much nicer and much more even doing it that way than it would did when I did it by putting a sleeve in so so yeah so I will do that I'll put the sleeve head in and then um, stitch the sleeve and side all in one and uh, hopefully that will come out nice well I'm almost there I've nearly got this done I've got the uh, the sleeves on even though they're quite short they're just really more like a cap sleeve the sides been done I've even hemmed it and put some buttons on it but what I haven't done is the collar um, which is step 17 out of uh, 43 steps um, on the instructions and why haven't I done it yet well I don't like collars I really don't like doing collars that I just find them rather taxing and a bit of a pain I always end up having to unpick them to some extent but it is the last thing to do so I'm gonna have to get on with it and make it so get prepping this collar and um, get this on and here we are at last finally finished got that collar on it's a little bit tricky uh, getting that on but yeah it's gone on quite nicely and I really do like this fits really nicely it is quite snug but that's the way I wanted it and the way I made it and it does seem to fit quite well if you want it to be uh, quite snug and yeah it is a lovely top fits really nicely and not too hard to make neither yeah it's a very comfortable top three buttons on it it says to do more buttons but actually three is far enough for me um, 
could do another one up here maybe, but actually I think this would work quite well as like that. So yeah, left open a little bit and it's really, really comfortable. Absolutely easy to move, even though it is snug fit, it's, yeah, it's comfortable. Brilliant, as you could say. Very nice, fits very lovely and it's a really nice top. So there you go, the new look 6941 blouse, shirt, top, whatever you want to call it. I call it a shirt, but there you go. And I did view D, which is um, this one at the bottom here, with the very short sleeves. More of a cap sleeve than anything else, but um, they went in quite nicely. I'm really glad I did the uh, mock-up though, because it gave me the chance to have a look at how it would fit, how it would sit on me, and how to uh, finish the seams off, uh, and how it would work. Um, which I mainly used um, French seams and uh, flat felled seams, partly because my genome doesn't do zigzagging that good on um, seams, on, on the edge of seams, so they were the choices and I was able to do that. I thought it was going to be a bit more difficult than it actually was because of the amount of panels that are in it, but it went together really nicely. It's a really easy make really, um, considering what I was uh, anticipating. The only trick of it was the collar, but then I always have problems with the collar, um, but it <laughs> went on in the end. No pockets on this version, only three buttons, um, but that's the way I want it. It looks really nice, I think, with just three buttons. So yeah, all in all, it was a great make. I really enjoyed doing it. So thank you very much for watching my video. I hope look forward to seeing you in my next video. Do uh, click that like button if you like this video, and um, please subscribe if you haven't. Put comments down if you want to make a comment. They're always grateful. I'd love to read your comments. But today, you know, what I'm going to do now is go outside because here in the UK, it's gone nice. <laughs> We've had rubbish weather for the last few weeks through July. And today, it's actually really nice. So, time to go and enjoy the weather. And um, thank you for watching. Bye. Yeah.